It's February 17, and today in Philippine history, secular priests Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Jacinto Zamora were publicly executed by Garote in Bagumbayan in 1872. Less than a month before, on January 20, 200 Filipinos employed at the Cavite Arsenal staged a revolt against the Spanish government. According to a report written by Governor General Rafael Izquierdo, nag-alsa daw sila kasi nawala yung tax exemptions nila. Bale, ayaw nila magbayad ng buwis kasi government employees naman daw sila. Bakit parang familiar yun? This event we now call the Cavite Mutiny led to the persecution of prominent Filipinos. All others were acquitted except for the three priests collectively called Gomborza. They were tagged as the masterminds of the uprising. The priests were charged with treason and sedition by the Spanish military tribunal. Before this, Gomborza were vocal about equal rights. This ruling is believed to be part of a conspiracy to stifle the growing popularity of Filipino secular priests who posed a threat to the Spanish clergy. When the people heard about the sentence, they did not agree and saw the nefarious plan for what it was. The Archbishop of Manila refused to defrock them, so they died wearing their habits, yung parang gown. 40,000 Filipinos who were distributed all around the platform witnessed the execution of the Filipino priests in Bagumbayan. They were buried in an unmarked mass grave in Paco Cemetery. In 1998, their graves were discovered under the women's toilets in Paco Park. The spot now bears a marker created by the National Historical Institute. After the execution, the Archbishop Gregorio Meliton of Manila ordered the bells of every church to toll in honor of their deaths. The martyrdom of the three secular priests would resonate among Filipinos. The people's grief and outrage over the execution would make way for the first stirrings of the Filipino Revolution. The martyrdom of Filipino non-combatants nurtured the growth of our national identity. Jose Rizal, who was only 11 years old when this happened, carried the experience in his heart. He would dedicate his second novel, El Filibusterismo, to the memory of Gomburza. 150 years ago na yun, pero sana ramdam pa rin natin yung relevance nila. Kapag nakakakita kayo ng may nangyayari na hindi dapat, magparamdam kayo. Lalo na ngayon. Hindi kailangan makipag-away, hindi kailangan magpamartir. Huwag lang palampasin ang pagbabaliwala sa mga karapatan natin. Hindi naman pagmamarites yun. Yun ang ginagawa ng mabuting mamamayan. Oh, di ba?